Hey guys, Sonda here doing another audio commentary and today I'm going to bring you a World Cyber Games matchup between Much and Stork. So this is the WCG and this is for the qualifying rounds to figure out who's going to represent Korea. This is the semi-finals between Much and Stork and in the other side it's Jadong vs Luxury. So we have some PvP action which I'm commentating on right now and then we have some ZVZ action which I hope to commentate a little later on. This is actually the last day before I go back to school, so I'm trying to make it as fun of a day as it can be. Um, I'm actually going back to high school to start up high school again tomorrow, so that's pretty lame, but um, I gotta do it or whatever, so it doesn't really matter. There's no point to complain about it. That's why I'm doing this game, is to try to get my head off that and stuff and to have some fun commentating. So this is between Much being the Protoss player and Stork being the Protoss player as well. Stork is also known as the Dinosaur Toss, and much is also known as the grandpa toss but um i would not mind having a grandpa like much by any means that'd be so cool yeah i would i would love going to my grandparents house if i could go play starcraft with my grandpa yeah <laughs> anyway so we have much appearing in the bottom left and stork appearing in the top right and there is much and now that is his base and now we'll see stork's base and now we'll see a picture of stork here for those um so you can get you can match up the names of the face if you're not familiar with these players both of these players are pretty well known players actually this is going to be played on troy troy such an interesting map and used quite a quite a lot in these world cyber games so it's been pretty fun and exciting it's an older map but um still makes for some crazy and exciting games and stork for 4gg game on um the game on Troy, definitely check it out. Stork actually beat 4GG to get into the semifinals, but I would recommend that to everyone. I did a commentary, but um, actually I never did do a commentary on that one because my audacity shut down after that, so I moved on. But Cholera has done that commentary, so check him out. Also a great commentator. And I'm sure a couple other commentators have, but I'm not familiar with anyone else who has done it besides Kara. So both players are throwing up pylons in their base, so we will not be seeing any cheese here. And... Um, so it, that, that'll be interesting. What makes Troy so interesting is probably the assimilators. There's actually two assimilators that block off your, na uh, your main to your natural. And if you kill one assimilator, then only small units can get through. But if you kill both assimilators, then um, no units can get through. So it just makes for some really fun and exciting games. So it does look like Much will be scouting across the map. So he just, he had a feeling that's where Stork was. Maybe checking for a proxy or whatever. But while he's doing that, he will be scouting in the right direction. So this will give him a little advantage. But Stork's probe is coming out now. So Stork should be able to tell by the angle of the probe that the probe was coming from the cross position. So Stork might be able to figure that out and scout in the right direction. The scout in the correct position as well. So a double gateway is going up for much. So much is up to something. It looks like a double gate zealot rush. A 10 and 12 gateway looks what the call will be for much. He must feel that he can might be able to catch Stork off guard. But Stork now is going to the bottom right. So Stork could be in a bit of trouble here just because he's going to be a little late to scout his opponent's base. And much is going for a double gateway opening. So it's, gonna, we're gonna, it's all going to come down to micro. But luckily for Stork, these are cross positions. So it will take a while for the zealot to come to get all the way across the map stork has zealot one zealot on the way so that'll be there in a, a little bit it has to walk all the way across the map so that might help um stork out but stork stork is actually getting his has his zealot out so this may or and now making up a cyber next score so he'll get dragoons out fairly quickly but this may actually turn out bad for much just because they are cross positions stork actually going to, to the top left now so stork is really uh, completely caught off guard by this um Double gate zealot rush. He has no idea yet. He has scouted in the all wrong directions. Now he will go cross map. Three, two more zealots on the way. So it's going to be three zealots. And Stork only has one zealot. Luckily, Stork does have the two assimilators. So he's going to be able to probably bring some probes off the line and be able to try to hold this off the best as he can. Forge going up now for Much. So Much is playing this game very cheesy. Opening up with a just a double gate zealot rush. Simple as that. It's going to come down to his micro. So we're going to see this so called Grandpa Toss micro. We're going to see how good he is. Now Stork is. Rush um, coming in, so Stork does know the zealots are on the way, so he's gonna have a little more time to um, try to get this. The, the goon is out, so this could really help Stork. Stork's gonna have to show incredible goon micro here, being very smart with his units. Five zealots, three zealots for some um, a dragoon and a uh, zealot for Stork, but more zealots on the way for much. So. Luckily, Stork does have the assimilator, so Stork is now going to be pushing back. He, he almost loses the goon, picks off one zealot, two goons out now. So 
Much is in a lot of trouble. Stork throwing up a pylon is natural, and Much is going to fail this. This is going to fail miserably for Much. I just don't feel two goons out. The cross positions really hurt him. Much has four zealots, but four zealots versus two goons with Stork's micro. I feel Stork's micro will win this battle any day. So now Stork will throw up their robotics facility. He's probably going to go for quick obs because he knows that... um. He, he knows that much might go straight into DTs because the cheese failed. He needs to try more cheese, to say the least. So photon cannons are going up for Stork. So Stork is going to try to set up a little barrier because he feels if he can hold this off, which he will do, then he knows he can win this game. So very cheesy opening for much, and it's going to completely backfire on him. Much is going to lose looks right now. Much is... Not, I can't say he lose this game already, but a mirror mirror matchup being this behind is just gonna it's just not gonna do very good. And I absolutely why am I saying much? That was actually much his photon cannon. So much is actually trying to set up a barrier here on Stork, but Stork is gonna come out, be able to break these cannons off, and excuse me, I didn't even notice whose pylons those were. I was wondering what Stork was doing. But my mistake, Stork will be killing much as zealots here much still in a very bad situation his now photon cannon barrier has been broke stork showing off his goon micro for the crowd basically absolutely gorgeous goon micro picking off zealots after zealots while um getting out the quick obs i feel that's what he's going to choose to do much going all in with these zealots he knows he needs to keep sending zealots he feels he has to keep sending zealots because he knows he can't do much else right now he knows some he has to do something because right now he's so far behind in this game that it's um absolutely horrible for him a beautiful goon micro three zealots left in the base for stork but stork is just picking this pylon off with one while microing three goons for three zealots it's not going to happen more more zealots coming in for much so much really going all in with the strategy but i feel he is done he, there's just nothing he can do Stork's now going to move out with these four goons and see what he can do. He's going to be able to pick off these two zealots. He's, they're going to be required to go back to their base. So much is going to find himself in a very bad situation. I feel he's going to have to do something incredible. We're going to have to see some incredible Protoss um, skill right here to try to get himself back in this game. Pushing back in. Too many goons for Stork. Stork's going to be able to hold this off completely, and Stork is going to march himself into victory. Now he's taking his natural expansion. So not only is he already ahead economically because he completely held off that attack, and it wasted did all of much his um, units, but um, Stork just taking his natural expansion, so now he's going to take more of an economic lead. So now Stork will have his na natural expansion up, going up, and now he's going to kill his goons so he can keep that safe. Or now two goons at the base for um, much. Much is going to try to trap him in the base. Stork will lose one assimilator, so now only small units can get through. But while he's doing that, Stork is going to pound on the door right here. He's moving out with a large force of seven goons and a shuttle with a reaver. So he's going to find himself in a lot of trouble here. Much will lose this game. Stork is going to march in here and with all these goons and this reaver, be able to march right over Much. Much is that and it needs to do something absolutely incredible to possibly get back in this game, but I don't see what he can do. Too many goons and a reaver, so there's nothing he can do. Nothing he can do. He's just going to be in trouble for all out. There's, he's absolutely behind in this game. He's now going to lose his pylon, so these gateways will become unpowered while doing a reaver job. So much is going to lose this game 100%. Stork will win, and now he'll, Stork will take a 1-0 to zero lead in this game and build, have a chance to build to possibly sweep or maybe win in a game three to advance to play the winner of Jadong or Luxury. So absolutely brilliant game. This is going to be this is crazy. Much went all out with this strategy and it completely failed on him. So for those wondering how to hold off a double gate zealot rush in a mere matchup right there, um, Stork just showed it for you. He does pick off the gateway, so I expect GG any second. Nothing he can do. Just too many units for Stork. He lost way too many zealots at the beginning. I feel he maybe could have pushed back and had a small deficit, but tried to come back from that. But he kept um, throwing the zealots and kept throwing them away and just kept getting farther and farther behind, probably because he went all in. He knew it was an all-in strategy, so he lost it. So much does call GG, so Stork wins. Stork will take game one. We, I will uh, be commentating game two in a little bit here. So um, look forward to me commentating game two, and I thank you guys for watching. So this is Sunday signing out. Thanks. Bye.